Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Chapter 8, Lesson 3. Uh, the title of Lesson 3 is Functions and Equations. And remember that uh, in mathematics, a function is like a rule. And an equation <clears throat> has to have something on both sides of an equal sign. Uh, so the first key word that we're going to learn today, first vocabulary word, is a linear function. A linear function is a function whose graph is a line. It's going to be a perfectly straight line. So a linear function is a function Linear function is a function whose graph is a line. So in today's lesson, we're actually going to be doing two things. We are going to be uh, taking an equation and graphing that equation. Uh, we are also going to be looking at uh, a function table. Uh, and coming up with an equation. So we're going to be working in both directions. So the first thing, actually the next thing I want to talk about is when you are graphing linear functions, uh, we've talked about this in a previous lesson, but your input and your output values become your x and y for the graph. So the input value and the output value on a function table turn into your x and y for the graph. Okay, so the input becomes the x value and your output becomes your y value. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of examples. Let's try to graph the following equation. Graph y equals 2x plus 1. So now, first of all, I want to look at this right here. And again, what makes this an equation is we've got something equal to something else. With That's just a rule. 2x plus 1, that's a function, that's a rule. This makes it an equation. When, once I add something on both sides of an equal sign, now I've got an equation. So over here, I'll write the equation again. y equals 2x plus 1. And now what I'm going to do, and you're going to hear me say this a lot in this chapter, is make a table or prove it with a table. So now I'm just going to make a table from this equation of x and y values. So I'm going to make this table go up and down like this. And now I'm just going to plug in some y values. Let's start with 0. Put in a 0 for x. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1. y would equal 1 when I plug in a 0 in for the x. Let's make, let's plug in x value of 1. Put in a 1 right here into the equation. 2 times 1 makes 2 plus 1. My y value would equal 3. Let's do another one. Let's take an x value of 2. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 makes 5. So now I've got a table and some x and y values. And these are good numbers to start. Uh, when you're making a table, 
make your x value 0, 1, 2, 3. Just make, start with those numbers and see what happens. See what you get. So these, right here, the table, now turns into x and y values. So this turns into 0, 1, ordered pair 1, 3, and 2, 5. And remember that, I'll make this little guide, your x value can only go that way, your y value can only go this way on a graph. So then the last thing we're going to do is take this and we're going to put it on a graph. So now let's put our ordered pairs on the graph. 0, 1 is right here. I'm not going to move right or left at all, and I go right to here. The next ordered pair is 1, 3, over to 1, up to 3. Finally, 2, 5, over 2, up to 5, right there, and then makes, should have used a ruler, but the ordered pairs make a straight line. Okay, uh, your hidden treasure for this lesson is uh, the keyword, this was back in chapter one again, uh, unit rate. If you can tell me what a unit rate is and give me uh, an example of a unit rate, you will win today's hidden treasure. Go back and look, check your notes from chapter one or use the glossary online, uh, but unit rate, uh, define it and give me an example of a unit rate is the hidden treasure. Okay, example number two. So this was given an equation, make a table, graph the equation. Uh, and as you can see, this is a linear function. Our equation is a straight line. So now we're going to do the back, we're going to work backwards now. Now we're going to find the equation. Find the equation from this table. This time instead of up and down, I'll make the table go sideways. And here are our values. X is 0 y is 2, uh, 1, 5, 2, 8, and 3, 11. Okay, so now we've got a function table. This time we're trying to build an equation from the function table. So I'm going to copy it over here. Now, remember when the table goes uh, in rows, the rule goes like this. If the table were in columns, the rule would be going across. Zero, plug in zero into this equation, into this rule right here, and we get this value. This time we're plugging it in going down. So I'm going to write that just as a little reminder here that the rule would be going down. Uh, okay, so now I'll start by looking at your y values. Look at these y values. What changes as we go from this y to this one to this one to this one? And that's always where you should be starting. 
Well, how do I go from 2 to get to 5? That is plus 3. How do I go from 5 to get to 8? Again, plus 3. How do I go from 8 to get to 11? Plus 3. That right there, when you see that constant change, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, that is what you should be looking for. Trying to find patterns like that. Now, when you see that same change, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, that tells you that part of your rule is going to be 3x. 3 times x. This tells me that right there. In fact, I'm going to draw this constant plus 3 change means that part of my rule is going to be 3x. I don't know if that's it. Uh, what I'm going to do now is plug in the x values and see what happens. Put in a 0 into x right here. 3 times 0, I would get 0 instead of 2. Put in a 1, I'd get 3 times 1, I'd get 3, not 5. Let's go back to this one. How could I get the y value with this rule? I'd have to add 2. Put in a 0 again right here. 3 times 0 is 0. I want to get a y value of 2. So the next thing I'm going to try is plus 2. Now it has to always work. Test it on every single set of numbers. 0, put in a 0. 3 times 0 is 0. Plus 2 gives me 2. That worked. So it has to always work. Put in a 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 2 makes 5. Worked again. Put in a 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 2 makes 8. Put in a 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 2, 11. It always works. So the last thing we need to do is make this an, make this an equation by putting y equals that. When I put in this value for x, this is the y value that I get. So now we've got an equation. So, get out the highlighter. So, uh, two things you're practicing today. Given an equation, graphing it by creating uh, a table. Just plug in values. Plug in a 0, a 1, a 2 for x, see what you get, and then graph those ordered pairs. And then the other thing is, given a table, come up with an equation that fits the table. All right, well, that does it for lesson three. I will see you very soon for lesson four.